Another 20 years of nuclear power looks to be on tap for hundreds of thousands of residents and businesses in South Jersey. In just days, the nation's oldest operating nuclear power plant could have its license renewed. This afternoon, federal regulators removed the last hurdle before that happens. But as environment correspondent Ed Rogers reports, opponents vow to fight the extension. The NRC rejected a petition from citizens who complained that the plant should not be relicensed because a metal lining around the reactor was too corroded and could fail in an accident. Officials say that clears the last obstacle for the reactor to get a new license by April 9th and that the commission does not even have to meet to approve the action. The move comes a day after a federal court ruled that the NRC does not have to consider the environmental impact of a terrorist attack on the plant. Exelon now operates the reactor. Company officials were unable to talk on camera, but issued a statement saying the plan has given New Jersey 40 years of clean and reliable energy, and we're looking forward to providing the same service for the next 20. Oyster Creek first went online in 1969. Environmentalists have fought the relicensing and say they will continue their challenge. It's one of the things we're going to look at to see what procedural as well as substantive mistakes may have been made during this process, and to see if there's a challenge in federal court. We also would like to see uh, Governor Corzine and his administration take a look at challenging this uh, license that it's given. The plant provides power to about 600,000 homes or 9 percent of the state. Governor Corzine had called for a 10-year relicensing of the reactor. I am confident that with the new administration in place they will hold the NRC accountable to the safety and security standards that uh, would be reasonable. And if we uh, find uh, on an evidence-based basis that there are reasons to challenge their conclusions, we'll do that in the proper uh, channels. Meanwhile, the state DEP must still decide whether to issue a discharge permit for the reactor's water cooling system. It's been blamed for occasionally killing marine life in a nearby waterway. The plant operators say they've made improvements to reduce the impact. Without the permit, expensive cooling towers will have to be built. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.